Hi everybody, it's time for Super Kids. Today, we are just gonna read a story. But before we get into that, I wanna work on our blending skills and sounding out words and putting them together, okay? So the first word I want you to sound out is G-E-T. All right, let's sound out together, ready? G -E -T. G-E-T, good job. Now what happens if I were to erase the G and put a P? Now let's sound out the new word I just made. Ready? P -e -t. Pet. Good job. All right, let's do a whole new word. All right. All right, I want you to try to sound this word out by yourself. All right, let's sound out together. Ready? M and N. Man. Now, what would happen to the word if I put a P in front of it? Let's think about that. What would happen if I put a P in front of it? I want you to sound it out yourself. All right, let's sound it up together. P and N. Pan. Pan and man rhyme. All right. Next word I'm going to do is C A T. C -A -T. A T. Sound it out for me. All right, let's sound it out together. Ready? K -a -t. Cat. Good job. Now, I think you know what I'm going to do next. What happens if I put a P in front of the A T? Sound out our new word. All right, let's sound it out together. P -a -t, P-A-T. So, we had cat and pet. That rhyme. All right, we're going to do one more example. All right. L-A-S-T. I would like you to sound out that word for me. All right, let's sound it out together. Last. Last. Now, I'm gonna put a P in front of it and make a whole new word. I want you to sound out this word. Sound it out for me. Awesome job. Now let's sound it out together. P -a -s -t Pass. All right, awesome job blending. Now, before we get into the story, we are going to watch the P song, and then we're gonna review a few words that we'll see in the story, and then we will read the story. So let me just share my screen. Okay, there we go. All right, let's watch the pea song together. It's a picnic, that's what I want to have. What does everybody like? What's your favorite snack? Let's have a picnic, it's really fun to try. Let's put in lots of good stuff, and those plums, and pumpkin pie. I will pick a pickle. I will share pear. I will eat a pizza. I like yummy pie. When you pass a picnic, everybody comes. Let's have a perfect picnic. It's really fun to try. Let's put in lots of good stuff. Pickles, plums, and pumpkin pie. I will reach for 
for peaches. Also from chin pie. I will plan our pancakes. I am pleased with peas. Pick spot to picnic. Underneath the trees. Let's have a perfect picnic. It's really fun to try. Let's put in lots of good stuff. Pickles, plums, and pumpkin pie. story like I mentioned before we're going to review, review some words that you're going to see a lot in this story okay so as you can see I have four words that are highlighted red does anyone know the special name we have for those words that's right those are memory words we should know it without even trying to sound them out we should just know them when we see them so this word we learned yesterday. What word is that? That's right, it is the word put. Awesome job. Now, what is this word? The. It is the word the. Good job. Now, this word, it is of. And the last memory word, what is that? That's right, it is no. So we have our sight words. Now we have these words we're gonna see a lot in the story, so we're gonna sound them out and figure out what that word is before we even read the story, okay? So we got g, oh, I'll highlight the word we're on right now. All right, g, a, u, gulp. So gulp means to take a big drink of something. All right, let's do the next word. You wanna sound out with me, ready? Sip, sip, and that means take a small drink of something, to sip. All right, the next word. All right, let's sound it out, ready? L -u -p. Help, when you, need, when you need help, you raise your hand, right? Help, all right, the next word we have. Ready, let's sound it out together. Lug, lug. That means to carry something, to lug something around. All right. Next is this word. Oh, seems I've spelled it wrong. There we go. Sorry, fixed my problem. All right. Let's sound out together. Ready? P ik, n ik. Hmm. I don't. I'm not sure. Let's sound it out again. Ready? P Ick, n -ick. Oh, it's picnic, picnic. And that's what Oswald wants to do when he's a super noodle. All right, good job. Next one, ooh, this is a long one. Let's see if we can get it. P -r -a -b -u -m. Hmm. Problem, oh, problem, good job. All right, the last one we have. St stumps, and a stump is when a tree is cut down what is left in the ground. That's a stump. All right, awesome job, sound out those words. So let's, put, let's just say them quickly with each other, okay? This word is? Put, this word is the, this word is of, this word is no, this word is gulp, this word is sip, this word is help, this word is lug, this word is picnic, this word is problem, and this word is stumps. All right, awesome job. So now what I'm gonna ask you to do is to grab your Super Kids books. And I want you to open up to page 
five. Can you please open up to page five? Okay, so let's read the title of this story. So I want you to find the title of this story. Can you put your finger on it? That's right, it is in the corner right here. I want you to try to read the title of the book. All right, let's read it together. We should know this word, this is our memory word. The Odd Picnic. What's the title? The Odd Picnic. Awesome job. So, we are going to read this story to figure out why this picnic is so odd. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm going to ask you to try your best to read this first page by yourself. When you are done, I would like you to unpause the video and then we'll read it together, okay? So I'm gonna pause my video. And then you are going to try to read the story by yourself, okay? So I wanna see you try. All right, are you ready to read this together? Finger on the first word on the page. Ready? Oswald is the super noodle. All right, let's read that again. Oswald is the super noodle. His thought balloon says, the picnic ooh, spot, spot is up the hill. What did he say? The picnic spot is up the hill. Now I have a question. What are those super kids carrying in those bags? That's right, they are carrying bags of food. They're carrying the food that they want on this picnic. All right, let's continue on. So we're gonna move our pointer finger down to this word and we're gonna start reading again. Etta, Betta, and Cass spot Robins. Etta, Betta says, let's help the Robin. All right, let's read this whole thing again. Etta Betta and Cass spot robins. Let's help the robins. Hmm. Let's see. The word spot. What does it mean in that sentence with Etta Betta and Cass? They spot. Now it's not a dot on like your pants or anything. A spot is also can be used to talk about a place or that they see, they spot a robin. Good job. All right, let's keep on going. Now I would like you to, I gotta turn the page. All right, page six. I'm gonna pause the video again. I want you to try to read this page by yourself, okay? All right, awesome job trying. Let's read these page to, this page together. Ready? Let's put our pointer fingers on the first word. The robin gets bits, bits of bun, bun. So this says the robin gets bits of Bun. And Cass says, Mmm, let's go up, gulp up the buns. Okay. So, what do Etta and Cass do for the robins? That's right. They give them little pieces. They're feeding the birds. That's pretty nice. Now, what do Arabara and Cass do with the rest of the buns? That's right, they eat them and they gulp them up themselves. They take big bites of them. Awesome job. All right, let's read the next part. Hot Rod 
trips. The bag rips. All right, what's that say? Hot rod trips. The bag rips. All right, let's see. Let's, oops, memory word, put the plums, plums in us. Okay, so let's we talk about what's going on here. What are Hot Rod and Elf carrying in this bag? Awesome job, that's right, the plums. They are carrying the plums. What happens when Hot Rod trips? He drops the bag and it rips, right? And the plums slip out of the bag. Now what do Hot Rod and Elf decide to do? They decide to eat the plums. Oh my goodness, I don't think there's gonna be anything left for this picnic. Okay, let's turn to the next page on page seven. Again, I'm going to stop here and I want you to try to read this whole page by yourself, okay? All right. Let's read this together. I'm getting really excited to read this. I am hot. Let's rest. rest. So what did Tick say? I am hot. Let's rest. Okay. Tick, tack, and tock. Sip the lemon pop. What's that say? Tick, tack, and tock. Sip the lemon pop. Okay, so let's talk about this. How do tick, tack, and tock feel? They feel very, very hot. What do they do so they don't feel hot anymore? What do they decide to do? They're gonna take a sip of the lemon pop. Okay. Let's read the next part. Let's read what Sal says, ready? I cannot lug the big melon. Doc and Sal get rid of the melon. So why do Doc and Sal stop walking? The melon is way too heavy. Have you ever tried to pick up a melon by yourself? I know I can't even carry one. And Mr. Boards, he struggles with carrying melons. And it was too heavy for Sale, and Sale couldn't carry it anymore. So what do Sale and Doc, how do they get rid of the melon? They eat it. They're gonna eat it. Oh my goodness. All right, I would like you to, if you need to, to turn to page eight. All right, again. I'm gonna stop, you're gonna try to read this by yourself, and then we'll start up again. Let's keep on reading. A rabbit hops past. Hip, hop, hip, hop. What does Lily say? Let's put a Carrot on the stump. Okay. How do Lily and Icky get rid of the carrots? They give one to the rabbit. Let's continue reading. The rabbit spots the carrot. Lily and Icky get rid of the carrots. Mm. Okay, so they gave one to the rabbit. What happened to the rest of the carrots? Lily and Icky ate them. 
as I read, I pause now and I think, then remind myself, what has happened so far? So, Etta, Betta, and Cass gave a bun to a robin, and then they ate the rest. Hot Rod and Elf ate their plums. Tic Tac and Tock drank the lemon pop. Doc and Sal ate the melon. And Lily and Icky have eaten their carrots. So far, the kids have all stopped to eat the food they were supposed to take to the picnic. Oh boy, let's read on page nine. Okay, remember, I'm gonna pause. You're gonna try to read this by yourself and then I'll help you. Let's see what happens. The super kids stop at the picnic spot. But the picnic is a problem. Oswald says, let's get the picnic stuff. No pop is left. No melon is left. No buns. No carrots. No plums. What is, why is this picnic a problem? What's the problem with this picnic? They don't have any food left. The whole point of a picnic is to eat food, right? Oh boy, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's finish up. Okay, last time, gonna pause. Try your best to read. All right, let's see how they resolve this problem or solve it. All right, the picnic can still happen. I hid gumdrops. It is an odd picnic, but it is fun. All right, let's talk about this page. Who solves this problem of having no food? Our super noodle, Oswald, and how does he solve it? He brings out gumdrops that he has hidden. So let's look, let's look at this picture right here. Where is, does the, the picnic take place? Where does it take place? That's right, outside at the top of a hill. Now I want you to think to yourself, why do you think the author called this book The Odd Picnic? Why is this picnic odd? The kids only have gumdrops to eat. Usually at a picnic you have like a sandwich and a drink, but all they had was candy gumdrops to eat. Okay. So, let's Let's retell the story a little bit. I'm gonna ask some questions and we're going to retell the story, okay? What happened to the food the kids were supposed to bring to the picnic? Um, the kids all ate it on the way to the picnic, right? Yeah, they did, <laughs> they ate it. Okay, now I want you to think about this, okay? If you went to a picnic and found out that everyone had already eaten the food, how would you feel? How would you feel? I want you to think about that. How would you feel if you went to a picnic and there was no food because the other kids ate the food? How would you feel? Well, I know if I was Oswald, I would be a little bit upset because he had planned this wonderful picnic and everyone ate the food. But you know what, I would probably be a little bit happy because I had the gumdrops to eat. Okay, so I want you to think about that. Okay, so what are some other ways that the super kids could, might have solved the problem of not having any food? Could they have just played instead of eating? Or they could have gone to a restaurant, right? They could do a lot of things. Or they could get food and go to someone's house and go get food. 
Okay. So that's the end of our story. We do not have a practice page today. You guys did really great. All right, I hope you had fun reading. Bye.